Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to do the mid-year book freakout tag. I guess this is where you uh, look back on your reading year and kind of start to freak out because there's only half a year left. Um, we are pretty much exactly in the middle of the year. So I think it will be interesting to kind of look back on the year and look on the year to come and see what I'm anticipating reading. I also at the end here want to cover some of my bookish goals that I made for this year and see how I'm doing with those as well. So let's just get right into the tag. The first question is, what is the best book that you've read so far this year? And if you've been here for any length of time, this one's not going to come as a surprise to you. And that is A Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I mean, this book probably could, um, you know, answer a lot of these questions, but I think part of the reason I loved this book so very much was just because it was so completely unexpected. I thought it would be like, you know, like a three, three and a half star read because of everyone else's opinions, but I was blown away. And this one will be back in future questions here. Just watch for it. Um, another book that I really did enjoy this year that I gave five stars to is Heartbeat by Sh uh, Sharon Creech. This is a middle grade free verse novel and I really enjoyed a lot of the different elements that she brought out in this book. So this will be another one on this list, I guess. The next one is the best sequel that you've read this year. And for that, I am gonna go with If I'm Found by Terry Blackstock. I was actually really surprised by this series. I haven't read a Terry Blackstock, like Christian fiction kind of like, I don't know, this used to be like a stereotypical type of book where you knew what was going to be coming and I hadn't read anything like this in years and I was so surprised. But what I really liked about the sequel here is that there was no time in between book one and book two and then also book three. I hate it when, personally, this is just personal preference, I don't like it when you read a book and then you pick up book two and you're like you've jumped ahead a year and you missed a bunch of stuff that went on. I feel like that's a cheater's way to write a story because you just got to skip over a bunch of time and you didn't have to think about what happened but that's personal preference so anyway that is why this one falls in this spot the next prompt is a new release that you haven't read yet but want to and i thought about this and i'm not big into like watching when books are being released i think like the longer i'm on booktube the more i realize like oh there are books coming out by authors that i like that i'm kind of like keeping on my radar but normally i like a book to you know settle for the dust to settle before I pick it up but so I don't actually I can't think of one that has been released so far this year that I have not read that I want to so the newest book that is already out that I have not read that I want to would be The Toll. Now I read Scythe and Thunderhead both this year and I want to see how it ends. I have kind of low expectations judging from some of the things I've heard but that is one of the books I want to get to and it was technically released I think in November of last year but whatever that is going to be my answer for this one and then on the flip side the most anticipated release for the year that hasn't happened yet obviously um and I think I'm going to pick hollow pox for this this is book three with nevermore and whatever book two is called um wondersmith so then book three is hollow pox and I think that comes out in October so I'm looking forward to that one next up is the biggest disappointment of the year and I have two for this one number one is definitely by far bear town I had such high expectations for this book like I have read another one of his books of Frederick Bachman's books and I loved it and then I heard this one was coming or I mean I've heard really good things about this one and I like I don't even know if I read 70 pages of it. It was so disappointing. Um, and then the second one here is Rebecca. Another one that I thought I was going to really like. And I think I liked like 2% of the book or something. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it because it has a pretty cover. Um, yeah, two books that I am very disappointed in this year. The next prompt is the biggest surprise. And I looked over my books and Skyward could definitely be here, but because I already used that one, I didn't want to use it again. So I'm going to go with Keeper of the Lost Cities. This is a middle grade fantasy series that I wanted to read to proofread for my daughter and I was actually really enjoying it. So I read book one, I read book two, and then I want to read the rest of the series soon. So this one was a definite surprise for me. Next up is your favorite author and yeah, 
it's gonna have to be Sanderson. He's been like number one this year. Um, I have read four of his books. These were my first four ever reading of his and I have just started the fifth one. So um, I'm very surprised. I want to read all of his books and yeah, that, the way that guy writes, he just keeps pumping books out. So I should be set for quite some time. The next one is newest fictional crush. Um, I don't really, I don't have an answer for this one. I don't crush on any characters. Um, I did try to think of like if there was a male character that was written that I really liked and I couldn't come up with one. Maybe when I'm editing this, something will come to me and I will pop it on the screen, but I didn't really have one for that. So, but the next one I'm really excited about. The question, or the prompt was, oh yeah, your newest favorite character. And this one by far, it's on the bottom of my stack because I already talked about it, Skyward. I love Spin. I don't think I would like her as like an actual person, but I love her as a character. I love how fiery she is and how passionate and how she just goes for the things that she wants. And then I also really like Doomslug, favorite creature ever. And then I also like Mbot, which is my favorite artificial intelligence. I don't know. This just has like three of my absolute favorites right here in this book. Probably why it was my favorite so far for the year. And the next one is a book that made you cry. And I was going to say, I don't usually cry in books and I couldn't think of one. And then I remembered, I think I actually cried in this book. I mean, not cried, cried, but like, I think I got a little choked up. I was gonna go back and look at my reading blog and see, I'm pretty sure it was either Skyward or Starsight where I started choking up over an artificial intelligence. Yeah, I went there. The next prompt is a book that made you happy. And originally my thought here was, I don't really read happy books. I like to read mysteries and I like to read fantasy, but like not really books that like leave you with a warm fuzzy feeling. And then I remembered I read Book Love, which is like a collection of bookish um, comics, I guess. And I really loved that one. It was so, ha it made me so happy. It was like just, I've never felt more known as a bookish person than when I was reading that book. So that one is definitely the answer. Then is the most beautiful book that you bought this year. And I have two here. Um, they're both middle grade fantasy. This one is The Dollmaker of Krakow. I, I just really like the design on this cover. I love that. And then I also have Witchwood. Um, neither of these I've read. I did read Furthermore, which is book one for this series but they're both on my TBR. And yeah, I think they're the prettiest ones that I bought this year. I mean, I feel like they've really come a long way in book covers and there's a lot of pretty ones out there these days, but I think I would pick these as my uh, prettiest of the year so far. And then the last question is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? So I just kind of went on my TBR cart and picked a few that I really, really want to get to soon. And I've got Hum If You Don't Know The Words. This one is set in South Africa and has to do with apartheid, so this one's really high on my list. I have Illuminae. Um, I read the first like 20-ish pages of this from the library a while ago and bought it because it sounded really good and then I've heard not so good things since then, so I just want to like get it over with and see if it's worth it. And then I've got 8033. This one is a series I, well, a duology I guess that I started that I want to finish. And then same with Witchwood, which I already talked about. So those are my books for the mid-year freakout tag. And then I have a couple of bookish goals that I wanted to go over. So I set some book goals for myself at the beginning of the year. One of them was to join BookTube and I've done that. <laughs> I wanted to post a video a week and I've kind of been doing more than that lately, but some of them haven't been bookish, but I've kind of officially decided now for the time being at least, that I will just keep books, um, videos about books on here, except I might have one more other one that squeezes in here, but this will just be for book videos. So I've been doing that. I want to complete the Read Your Bookshelf challenge that I created, and so far I've been doing it every month, and usually that's going well. There's been a few kind of duds that I've read so far, but it's helped me get books off my shelf. Then I wanted to read more of my own books than the libraries. Well, when I made this challenge, I didn't know that there would be a worldwide pandemic and the libraries would shut down, but that kind of worked to my advantage because it made hitting that goal a lot easier. 
Then the next one was to read a tome a month. And I realized I actually failed in May. Um, so a tome to me was like a book 500 pages or more. And in May, I didn't finish my Mistborn book. So technically I didn't in May, but there was also multiple months where I read more than one book that was 500 pages or more. So I mean, if May is only month that I skip and I've done like multiple books in other months, I'm still counting that as good. And then um, read at least 12 middle grade novels. I haven't done an official count, but I think I might've already hit that goal. If not, I'm really close. And the last one was finish the Harry Potter series. And I did that a few months ago, still planning on making a video about whether or not I think Christians should read the series, um, let their kids read it, whatever, something like that. So that will come eventually. Um, yeah, so, so far I'm doing really good with my goals for the year. Like all my bookish videos, I would love it if you would let me know what you're reading right now. Um, any books that you think I would really enjoy that I should uh, keep an eye out for. And thanks for watching, guys.